Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I'm starting my topic on all the heterogeneous data infrastructure on Kubernetes cluster. Um, we have the Kami community. Um, it's a great honor. It's a great honor to come to Tokyo uh, to attend the Kubernetes 2024 and share the topic of Hami. Before the session, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Kuo Zhang from Dell Cloud uh, Software Engineering. At the same time, I'm the community of uh, ResourceOS and the maintainer of, of Hami. Uh, Commander and the Kubernetes Cloud TDY. Of course, we are talking about Hami. So maybe many people will curious about what Hami is. I hope this sharing can give you some answers. Let's get started. So uh, it's an ISS report from uh, AI by ML in mid 2024. AI technology uh, becomes more and more popular. All companies are invested in it. In addition to GPU computing capability, capability expansion, cost um, and the infrastructure are all required in thinking and uh, design. Because as we all know, the GPUs are really, really, really too expensive. Also, existing AI task scheduling tools cannot fill the needs. At the same time, the actual GPU utilization is a major concern. So the first point is that nearly 75% of users have a GPU utilization is low more than 20%. More than 40% of users GPU utilization is um, less than 50%. So, how to maximize the resource utilization mm. using orchestrator and other tools becomes urgent consideration. So, on the other side, to NVIDIA GPU, the other vendors are also launch AI device such as Intel, AMD, and the Google CPU. In the Chinese market, they, they are Cambridge, Taiwan, Elevator, and the Huawei. However, how to scale and management the heterogeneous AI device has become very complex and uh, inconstant. So, we are prepared to address uh, the above changes is a heterogeneous AI computing externalization meanwhile, and I only one who was designed management heterogeneous AI computing and the device in Kubernetes cluster. So, we can manage AI device in a unified way on Kubernetes. At the same time, Hami provides the GPU sharing capabilities to improve the utilization of AI device, such as NVIDIA. We have Hami core components that enables GPU to support time slice capability and support, support more task running on one GPU card. Hami also has some scheduling capabilities the efficiency schedule and the managed AI device. Finally, Hami also provides the observability support uh, in two levels, the quality scheduling and the actual device usage. Uh, of course, Hami has many features. Bala, bala, bala. Starting to focus on the sharing them. The first one uh, about the GPU sharing. Uh, one is the GPU utilization is very low. Image or space 
in experience, we have one node and uh, three nodes as the user want to uh, use the GPU to launch their application. And the user one uh, to apply with the user one with two GPUs and, and also the user B wants also two GPUs with 10 G, uh, 20 G memory. Uh, user A will increase the of the GPU and user B also will increase increase of the the another two GPU. Uh, we are all located successful, but no, if we not be scheduling the 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 results anymore. Therefore, the overall utilization is at most forty uh, percent. We will be able to make more fast use the remaining results of the GPU and the improve the utilization. The, the other part is really allocated computer. There are many new technology about GPU sharing, and such as the NVIDIA MIG, MPS and uh, the media which for GPU and the time slice of course uh, the system is about HAMI so I will introduce how uh, HAMI achieves this in media GPU sharing so, uh, the, the, the finger existing AI application mm -hmm. without me the it will call CUDA runtime and the CUDA runtime API will call directing the CUDA driver API. But if 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 you if it's with Hami and the runtime API will be intercepted by the Hami core and the Hami core will go into the um, CUDA driver. Hami core uh, intersecting on the top of the CUDA runtime through the symbolic link injection and the, all the CUDA runtime API pass through the uh, HAMI core this allows for more than grand the controller such as the device memory sharing and uh, isolation and the HPU core limitation and the failed isolation of course uh, we are based the CUDA header files by uh, CUDA for the public header. Of course, uh, if the public core works, the GPU is very simple to, uh, to use and it's no different from the traditional Kubernetes airport. It only is basically the results uh, property. And the info.com uh, slash GPU means completely physical GPU, the application you want to use. And the info.com GPU memory means the new GPU application can use the physical GPU. And the third person, the third file, the info.com slash GPU force means the limitation of computing power which you can use this feature based on the HAMI core therefore the above YAMO means that the Ubuntu port can to fake GPUs by the limitation of each GPU's memory is 10 G and the limit of the computer power computing power is uh, 30 percent the real effect can be seen by entering the uh, container and the media SMI. We can see that uh, the container has two card 
as the memory house is empty, uh, instead of the uh, 23, and that indicates that the sharing and the isolation are works. The other item memory of the physical GPU can also be used by another code or another application. In that way, and GPU sharing and we improve the utilization. Okay, uh, besides uh, Unita Cloud and uh, uh, Unita has the similar effects, so I won't get into the detail. Raspberry is achieved the uh, uh, MPU energy, which is the technology uh, to uh, Unita match. And the elevator is also supposed to the GPU sharing by Hami and the handbreaker. All this uh, rest is um, manufactured by Chinese. And the Intel, AMD, and Google GPU supports are in our roadmap. When our application use a special fact, of GPU, we can use this feature of Hami to achieve that. For example, if you want to use a high performance GPU to study and uh, other GPU for inference, uh, you can use this feature to distinguish. And because the existing Kubernetes scheduler and um, the GPU device just the load. Um, in Hami, you just need to specify the GPU device type and the UUID with the annotation. In that way, uh, the Hami scheduler will engross the folder yep, and the directly select the device of the corresponding load and just similar to the new selector. As in this way, this is the device selector. The task of priority. Each uh, GPU is used by multiple tasks at the same time. The high priority task will have priority in using the GPU capabilities according to the GPU usage of the low priority task will be suspended and but will be not crashed until the and the low priority task will be resumed and uh, consume the GPU memory and uh, the GPU cores. The general start cost of AI training application is related to high. It easily need requires load data and uh, rehashing again, which takes a long time. Therefore, this feature is related to practice. This is achieved through the interpretation by Hami Core. Okay, uh, Hami also uh, supports, supports the NVIDIA UMI. What is UMI? Um, that means the Unified Memory Management allow the, this is the CUDA feature for our GPU memory and the host memory to be measured and used together as one memory address. And so it can improve the scalability of tasks. As we explained the figure, we doubled the over location and the GPU memory increased from and to go to apply, we can schedule more tasks. One benefit of unified memory is that in every application allocated will be swapped from GPU memory to host memory. So the free uh, GPU memory will, will can run another active task. It's very helpful 
from allocating uh, AI application. And uh, the Honey also supports the flexible scheduling policy, but as the impact on the separate debris, both the on and the GPU device. Support this feature. Uh, as we all know, during the GPU scheduling process, we found that the GPU scheduling was unbalanced. First of all, some loads um, may be very, very busy, and the another load will be, will be very idle. Some important task was scheduling in one load. And the one GPU, so there is no way to observe the high availability. Sadly, um, maybe many small tasks with little GPU conversion will be added in the invariant load. So, on this delivery, army supports impact and separate scheduling policy. We can make the scheduling of tasks and GPUs more flexible. If you if you have some important tasks, will you need to balance them in very slow. If you some a little consume the GPU, maybe you can uh, put them in one load. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, Hami provides the observability supports for uh, at two different levels. At the scheduling level, you can clearly load the scheduling steps of the pod, the load, uh, and the GPUs. At the device level, you can clearly know how to use the pod bounded use and the actual usage. It's different for users monitoring their production usage, um, such as the, the, the taking production usage was consumed by application A and application B, is the consume and clearly monitoring. Um, I have introduced many features of HAMI. I will talk about some scenarios and classic usage scenarios. The first uh, use case, uh, some, some users use HAMI to improve the influence of ability. Improve the influence ability of large language model. Preventing the OPU on the support is the OPU and the increased ability will be very, very limited. Uh, now, uh, with HAMI, OPU sharing is supported with an horizontal running more tasks and the rating has the degree of concrecy. At, at the same time, is impressive the mainstream community large language model and the users need to pay additional attention. And uh, in another scenario is used in P test by scientists and or the um, university. At the same time, Ability allows more users to quickly verify their application or the algorithm. Uh, once there are low problems, we can deploy the production environment to improve the efficiency. And the last one, how do combine the technology such as the vocabulary? And the 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 regular stack project queue. In the case of a limited numbers of GPU 
This is one of the effective solution to improve utilization and ensure the QoS. The Q and the quota management is carrying out the, with the Q and Z combined, combined with the ability of having task priority. Provide task is running, it will preempt the GPU and no priority task will be suspended as the time slash never. After the high priority task is completed, the low priority task will resume and return to normal. The entire process will not be restarted. So the low priority application will be smooth suspend and restart and and run without restarted. And this one coming the following solution for Kalo and the default choice. The combine for Kalo and the Hami is very simple. But I will plug plugin will not Hami core as the container startup and the users don't need a production location. Okay, uh, you tell me uh, with what kind of, uh, just with only record one step and just the configuring the what kind of scheduler configure map and have the device plugin for GPU. We can add to sharing of availability by specifying the resource of the property. Okay, uh, comparing the Hami and the Nvidia device plugin and the GRI project, we will find uh, those projects focus different, um, different, different error. Apart from support, Nvidia Hami also support the other storage device, such as the American Apple, the Alueta, and the Huawei Ascend. At the same time, Hami will have many features as the scheduler level, such as the task task priority and GPU over subscription and the impact or spread the scheduler. The device plugin and the DRA uh, will focus the NVIDIA ecosystem and not focus the other heterogeneous AI device. Uh, the company will have different solutions for GPU sharing, um, such as the Kami NVIDIA will have the five solutions, the, the finger, and the Hami is uh, different from other GPU sharing proposal. This way, also interpreting the QR runtime for support, there will be some impact to the performers, but it's relative reports. So, wider range of GPU, mostly we support all of the NVIDIA GPU to sharing. Um, and the NVIDIA MSG is in, in the isolation and the visualized as the hardware level. So, it has the hardware QS issue, and then the GPU sharing to multitask. Engineering processing. Mm -hmm. The MPS is multiple tasks. Uh, multiple QA tasks will be uh, compressed, the one QA task and uh, uh, cause the driver. So the different uh, focus on the Z2 person. Of course, this is the Hami community and developer development. Hami is currently a landscape project and the new 